Welcome to this session of Functionized Training and how to use page objects or a set of repeatable steps in Functionize. My name is Jamie Kurt, Director of QA here at Functionize. Today we are going to cover how to create and call page objects within the Functionize platform. Let's get started. First of all, page objects within Functionize are a set of repeatable steps. For example, I have a website that has a static top menu here that is on every page of my website. So here on the home page, here when I go to the orders page, here when I go to the about us page, to the contact us page. So just a static menu. Maybe I want to, every time I go to a different page, I want to have a page object or a repeatable set of steps to validate that that top menu appears as I expect it to. So let's go back to the Functionize platform. From here, we have multiple ways to create a pot page object. That's what I'm going to start out showing. Again, I go to New Test, click Architect, put in the URL of the application under Test, click the Start button, then Functionize launches our application under Test. Go ahead and click the Record button, clear all my temporary storage, and now we're ready to start recording. So first I'm going to verify that I see the, the home page. From here now what I want to do is verify the top menu item. So I'm going to verify home, verify functionize, verify orders, verify about us, verify contact us. And those are the steps I want to repeat on every test that I use so that when I go to different pages, I want to ensure that we have the same set of top menu items uh, appearing and displaying on my web pages. So from here, all I do is go ahead and click the Save button, give my uh, page object a name, so verify top menu items, click Continue. It will then upload all of the data it's collected during the recording process. And in the next pop-up window, I have here the project details. I have the field called test type. So instead of saving it as a test case, I'm going to click the drop-down, select page object. I can write notes. It copies the name I gave the test in the earlier save window to this, or I can rename it to something else if I want to. Go ahead and click save. Then that essentially creates the page object for us. If you go to the page objects menu, our item here on the, on the page, you then see the page object that's been created. So there it is, verify top menu items. There is another way that I can go about creating page objects as well without the architect. What I can do is use an existing test case that I've already created and go identify steps that I want to mark as repeatable uh, steps to use in other test cases. So I have this test case here called verify demo site. I'm going to open that test case up. I'm going to go to the test case details page. From here, you can see I have separated out the verified top menu items just like I had in my other page object I recorded with the architect. So now what I can do is if I go to the three dot or action button here, I can go to create page object. Now again, this is critical to have your steps separated with instructions. So here, Again, I want this block of steps, these five steps here of verifying five top menu items to be part of my page object. I just go ahead and click this checkbox next to the instruction for those five steps. That way it'll set all five of those into a page object for me. So I go ahead and click update. It's going to ask me to give the page object a name. So again, I'm just going to call verify top, top menu items number two. Now you will see it has broken those steps out into a separate page object called Verify Top Menu Items. It's got a different highlight around to indicate that those are page, page objects. It is a page object. And then what you can do is you can go ahead and click on the Verify Top Menu Items too, the name of the page object here. And that will open in a new tab the steps for that individual page object here. So that's how you can create page objects from an existing test case that you had already recorded. So again, if I go back to the test case listing page, go to the project 
page objects tab, I now see the verify top menu items number two page object here. So now I have the two different ways to create page objects, either through the architect or through the, the test case details page. So that covers the creating of page object. Now let me show you how you can call or use page objects. Again, we have multiple ways of doing this. First, what I'm gonna do is show you how to do it using architect. So I'm recording a new set of steps. So I'm gonna go here, click new test architect. Again, I have my uh, URL of the application under test. Go ahead and click the start menu. Go ahead and turn on architect, clear all of my temporary storage again. And so now let's say, you know, I wanna verify that we have the home page is loaded. Verify home page has loaded. I'm gonna verify the text here. And now maybe I wanna add in my uh, page object. So again, I click on the plus sign. I go to under the control section, there's page objects. And then what I'll see here is a list of my existing page objects. So there's verify top menu items. The first one I recorded with architect or I have verify top menu items too. I can select that. It shows me those five steps that I have as part of that page object. I click add, it automatically adds those into that uh, test case. And now I'm gonna add um, a new set of steps after that, after I verify the top menu. So I, let's see, click on uh, orders menu item. So I can go ahead and click orders and now it continues executing. One thing to note when you add it with the architect, it does not automatically execute those steps. So if they were steps of clicking on things or something like that, you could always just click pause on the recorder, manually click through those steps to get where you need to be to continue on with the rest of your test and then click record again when you're ready to start recording. And so now here I am on the orders page, I'm gonna drop in a verification to confirm that uh, you know, I see this sofa picture here. Um, so I go ahead and click save and that's now there. Very easy to include and save that test case. I'm gonna give this a name, uh, verify orders page. You can see here, because we've already used a page object in that test case, we don't have the option to change it and save it as a page object. It's just gonna automatically save it as a test case. I'm not gonna run this, I'm just gonna go ahead and save this for timing purposes. And then the other way I wanna show you, there is obviously a second way you can add in a, uh, a page object without architect. So again, you can do that from the test details page. I've got this verify contact us form um, test case here. Go ahead and click on that test case name. That brings me to the test case details. And then what I can do once this loads, is again, clicking that action button or menu, click on that, and I can do import actions. From import actions, I have the option to import either a page object or a test case. I'm gonna leave it as a page object. Here you can see our different page objects we've already created. Again, I'm gonna pull in the verify top menu items uh, two. It just has one kind of block to represent those five steps that make up that page object. And now what I can do is pull and drag that in. The only caveat here is you can drag and drop that only in between instructions. You cannot drop it into a, inside a set of instructions that already exist. So I'm gonna drop that here after we open and before we do the verify of the homepage, or actually I'm gonna pull that down and do it, um, do it there in, after we verify the homepage. So, I'm going to add this up a little bit further. There we go. Just before action number three, you can see instructions cannot be moved as steps. So I was trying to put it in into the instruction here, but it stopped me and it put it just before that. Now what I can do is click on the save button. This will open up my modify parameters so I could change any values in that page object for just this test case with modify parameters, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and click save as is. I'm not gonna make any modifications or click cancel, I apologize. Now you can see 
in this verify contact us form it's been added here in between uh, the original instruction one and instruction two we've added it there and I can always you know drag and drop that and move that around if it ended up being imported in the incorrect uh, location but uh, that's how easy it is to import a page object into an existing test gate. And that is all there is to working with page objects or repeatable steps in Functionize.